그러면 지금부터 3교시 외국어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가를 시작하겠습니다. 1번부터 13번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제이며 14번부터 17번까지는 말하고자 하는 내용을 답지에서 골라 답하는 문제입니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하기 바랍니다. 듣는 내용은 한 번만 방송됩니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자가 찾는 사람을 고르시오. Dad, look across the road. There's my classmate, Jane. Your classmate? Yes, she is very humorous and kind. I like her. Really? Which one is she? Does she have a headband? No, she has pigtails and is wearing glasses. You mean the one with a striped shirt? No, she is next to that person. Oh, I see. She's wearing a blouse and a skirt with pockets. You're right. Oh, the traffic light has changed. Here she comes. Let's say hello. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 심경 변화로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. I just can't finish this assignment. Which one do you mean? This presentation about international free trade. I've been trying to complete it for weeks, but I just can't. Sounds like you're burned out. That's true. I have been working quite hard lately. I'd be happy to help you. Making this kind of presentation is my specialty. Oh, would you? That would be a weight off my mind. Sure, it's no problem at all. I owe you a favor. You've helped me a lot in the past as well. I've got all of these papers about the presentation. Okay, give them to me now. 3번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 재래시장을 선호하는 이유로 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. These days, many people like to go shopping at department stores because they can enjoy one-stop shopping without worrying about parking. However, I still prefer to go to a local market in my neighborhood. You know why? First of all, I can breathe the fresh air there. And people in the market are lively, so I feel energetic. Besides, there are a few stores I've been going to with my grandma since I was young. The storekeepers are friendly, and they even let me pay later for the things I buy. One more reason I like the local market is I can buy a small amount of things if I want to. I could go on about it forever, but why don't you try it yourself? 4번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 제품을 환불받을 수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Star Home Shopping. May I help you? Hi. I bought a copy of Extreme World 2 the day before yesterday, but I'd like to have a refund. Would you mind if I ask why you want a refund? It looked very exciting on TV, but it wasn't so interesting when I tried it myself. You mean you've installed it on your computer? Of course I have. I'm sorry. We cannot give you a refund once the product is installed. It's our policy. Really? How could I know your policy? It's written on the box. Oh, no! 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 위해 하고 있는 일을 고르시오. Ah, there you are, Julia. Have you checked in? Yes, I have. I have to board the plane soon. Okay. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Yes. Anyway, 
Thank you for bringing me back to the airport. My pleasure. It seems like yesterday that I picked you up here, even though it was a month ago. Indeed, but maybe we'll meet at the Chicago conference next year. You're right. In that case, I'll show you around Chicago. It's my hometown. Thank you. I look forward to meeting you there. You'll be more than welcome. Will you drop me a line as soon as you get home? Sure, and thanks again for your hospitality. No problem. It was great having you. Have a good flight. Six. 번 다음을 듣고 남자가 한 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. May I have your attention, please? I have something to tell you before Professor Stephen begins his speech. Those of you who hold tickets for the 12 o'clock buffet luncheon should go to the Rosemary Room instead of to the Western Grill because it is still under construction. The time of the luncheon has also been moved to 12.15 to give our speaker in the morning session more time. We hope you enjoy the conference. Now, I'd like to introduce the speaker, Professor Andrew Stephen. Let's give him a big hand when he comes out. 7번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 의사의 하루 권장량보다 더 섭취한 칼로리 양을 고르시오. Hey, what are you doing with that chart? I'm calculating calories. My doctor said I shouldn't take more than 2,000 calories a day. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me help you then. I'm good at math. What have you eaten so far today? I had a chicken sandwich with french fries for lunch and two slices of pizza for dinner. Okay, let's see. A chicken sandwich is 700 calories, french fries 400, and two slices of pizza 1,000, right? Yes. Didn't you have breakfast? No, I skipped it. Oh, I forgot to tell you I had a Coke with the pizza. Well, that's another 200 calories. Didn't the doctor say 2,000 calories a day? That's right. I guess I ate too much, didn't I? I think you should walk a lot tonight and start eating healthy food, too. 8번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. What would you like to have for your birthday present? I think you already know. My mind is set on one thing. But your mom won't let me buy you a puppy. That's not fair. I'm dying for a puppy. Well, you've got to understand her. She is allergic to dogs. Grandma and Grandpa let you both have puppies when you were young girls, didn't they? That's true. Your mom didn't have the allergy at that time. How about you? Are you allergic to dogs now, too? No, come to think of it, I'm not. I wonder how come you two sisters can be so different. 9번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 대화하고 있는 장소로 가장 적절한 곳을 고르시오. Excuse me, I'm sorry to disturb you. Yes, what is it? I'm so confused because this is my first trip by rail, but you seem to be in my seat. What do you mean, your seat? Here is my ticket. It says car 7, seat 13A. Take a look for yourself. Okay. Yes, you're right. Seat 13A, but... Hold on. A snack seller is coming. 
Let me give him some space. Now, what were you saying? Uh, this is seat 13A, but there's just one problem. What's that? You are in the wrong place. This is car 6, not 7. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes, I do. How can I help you? I want to pick up a van. Here's my reservation number. Ah, uh, yes. One moment, please. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting, but according to our records, you reserved the van for the 18th of this month. Oh, no. Today is the 8th. Don't panic. I can check with other rental agencies online. Hmm, you're lucky. I found one in another agency. They have a van waiting for you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your help. Sorry for the inconvenience. My parents' wedding anniversary is just around the corner. I need to buy something for them pretty soon. Well, I'm planning to go to the department store. Do you want to come with me? Thanks. That would be great. When shall we go? Do you have time tomorrow? We'd better avoid the weekend. It'll be too crowded. Sorry, I have to work that day. I think I'll be too tired. You're right. What about June 9th? I'm free then. But I'm supposed to have a tennis lesson in the afternoon. I see. Then what day suits you? How about going there the day after tomorrow? The farewell party for Sam shouldn't take too long. Okay, let's go as soon as the party finishes. 12번. 다음을 듣고 예술 경연 대회에 관한 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Good morning, students. Today we're going to learn about the art competitions at the Olympics. As you can see on page 53 of your textbook, the art competitions started in 1912. All of the works of art had to be about sports and had to be original. It was allowed for artists to enter multiple works. This made it possible for an artist to win multiple prizes in a single competition. Medals were awarded in five areas – architecture, literature, music, painting, and sculpture. The art competition stopped in 1956 because artists were considered to be professionals, while Olympic athletes were required to be amateurs. Are you with me? 13번. 다음 그림의 상황에 가장 적절한 대화를 고르시오. 1번. I think you need to slow down. Sorry about that. I'll be more careful. 2번. Excuse me, sir. Would you like my seat? That's very kind of you, but I prefer to stand. 3번. This car is practically new. It only has 5,000 kilometers on it. It looks like it may have been in an accident, though. 4번. Could you move your bag, please? I'd like to sit down. If you insist, I'll put it over here. 5번. What a nice day for a drive. What time are we scheduled to arrive? 
14번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Have you prepared everything for my school trip, Mom? Yes, I guess so. Check for yourself. Have you put lots of socks in my backpack? We're supposed to go hiking. Let's see. Of course I have. Oh, yes. Here they are. How about my cap? Is it in the backpack, too? Look in the closet. Ah, you already washed my cap. How kind of you. By the way, where is my camera, Mom? Peter, am I supposed to wait on you all the time? Sorry, Mom. Oh, here it is in my desk drawer. Dear, don't forget to take your toothbrush and toothpaste with you. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. Peter, I knew you'd forget them. Mom, you're the best. See you next week. How wonderful this is! Yes, I can't believe we are walking in the middle of the city. You're right. It feels more like the countryside. Look at those ducks over there and the beautiful trees. The volunteer workers did a good job of cleaning up this lake. You're not kidding. I remember how polluted it used to be. With mountains of waste and trash on the lakeside. Now the air is clean. And there is no trash to be seen. 16번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Excuse me, is anyone there? Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Is there a mechanic available? I have a problem with my car. I am the mechanic, sir. What seems to be the matter? There's a strange noise when I step on the brake. Well, let me check it. Hmm, I'm sorry. I didn't think that... I mean... I know. You've never seen a female mechanic before. That's right. I thought it was a man's job. You'd be surprised at what jobs women are doing these days. But isn't auto repair too physically demanding for a woman? 17번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 마이클이 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Next week, Michael has to take a difficult English exam. Michael is preparing for the exam in the library, and he is trying to concentrate. All of a sudden, the woman next to Michael starts to tap her pencil on the desk. She seems to be listening to rock music on her earphones, and she doesn't realize that she is disturbing other people. Michael tries to focus on his studies, but the sound of the tapping continues to irritate him. In this situation, what would Michael most probably say to the woman? 이제 듣기 말하기 문제는 끝났습니다. 18번부터는 문제 지시에 따라 답을 하기 바랍니다.